So dear colleagues, let's find out how we can access the content viewer. So for that we'll have to click on the content viewer tab and this will show us two options. First one is multiple content viewer and the second one is content viewer question bank. So let's begin with multiple content viewer. For that I'll click on this one and this will lead me to a different window. So in this window on the right side extreme top you can see a plus button. Click on that one. So once you click on that one only then it will be functional. So once you have clicked on this one the, you can see the number one. So that is one window that has opened up. Similarly if I click again there will be number two right. So that way we can have a lot of windows in fact as many windows as we want but for now I'll uh, consider it only on one. So how to access the contents here for that there is a window number over here one two right. So we'll click on the window number in fact double click on double clicking it will lead us to this question bank thing right. So this is the say for example this file chemical reactions and equations I want to open this one double clicking on that one will open the file ok so this is loaded so this way we can play the file now let's try another method I will double click on this you know content viewer window number and my content viewer search box will pop up here now as you can see showing only top 50 that means the file I'm looking for may not be here so in that case what can we do we can use this search bar to get the desired content. For example, let's try preposition and I will press enter. So this way it will lead me to all the available preposition files. Suppose I need preposition for class 10. So this is my class 10 file, right? How to find out class 10 or class 9? I will show you later but first up you click on this one the last time around what we did we double click now this time around what we have done we clicked on this file this becomes blue now click on ok so see we could open the file here so that's how we are supposed to access the question viewer right so that's it for now 